Self-love is the cure to self-hate. If you want to be happy, you have to love yourself. Self-love is the cure to feeling depleted, feeling like you have nothing left, you have no energy. Self-discipline is self-love. Your journey will have unexpected stops. It will have curves, it will have hills, it will have valleys, you will have sunny days, you will have rainy days. But you have to decide, if I encounter rejection, if I encounter frustration, I will not give up. You will find the calm, the peace, the hope, the faith, the courage, the expectancy you need to live. If you never get married, you enough. If you never pass that law degree, you enough. If you never become a doctor, you enough. If you never get married, you enough. If you never have a child, you are enough like you are. And that's why God created you. You are enough. The first thing you got to realize is that you got to love yourself. It's about self-love. Start understanding that if you're going to do something with your life, you got to fall in love with yourself again. The moment you start talking about self-love, you start seeing, you turn that lens inward and you start coming in contact with your personal emotional history, right? You start, if I really love myself, how can I live a better life? It is time to be more selfish, where it's all about you and taking care of you. Your mindset, your belief system, it's everything. And it is so powerful. And so I came all the way from Atlanta, Georgia to tell you, you were not a mistake. You were not an accident. You were here for a reason. I know you're going through some hard times. I know life at times might feel rough or you might feel weird or things might be frustrating, but it's not going to always be like this. Your condition is not your conclusion. There is so much more that's going to take place. There is so much more power that's inside you. If you make up in your mind, I choose to believe that I can do great things. And I promise you, my young friends, I got to a point in life when I was like, man, I got these teachers. They must really care. Like when you start having teachers that get diagnosed with cancer, but they still show up to school. One of my teachers had arthritis so bad, she couldn't even write on the chalkboard. Other teacher was going through a divorce. Another one that just buried her child. I'm looking at all these teachers that's going through life just like you, just like me, but they kept showing up. So something inside my brain said, maybe I am worth it. Something inside me said, maybe I can do great things. For them to jump through all these hoops and go out of their way to kind of connect with me, for them to make these sacrifices, maybe it is possible for me. It's the same way with you. Sometimes I go back to like being that little boy in the hallway that I ever heard that teacher tell my mom that I wasn't high school material. Then I have to remind myself like, no, 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 that, that, no that, that's not true. I am that, I can do that, I can achieve that. Sometimes I have to remind myself, what am I telling you? Like life can be hard, life can be rough, but there's something special and there's something powerful about the human mind and about the human spirit and about the human will when you tell yourself, I won't give up, I won't surrender, I won't quit. I'm going to show up every single day and do the best that I can. And here's the beautiful thing about you is while you're going through your process and while you're trying to navigate these waters and while you're still, you know, trying to tweak some stuff within yourself, you still got the power to save somebody else's life. You got the power to speak up for others. You got the power to be the voice of reason for someone who might be on the verge of doing something they shouldn't do. You have the power to brighten somebody's day. Your words are powerful. Your energy is powerful. And so I don't want you all to think that you have to have it all together and everything for you has to be perfect in order for you to be a leader. No, 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 no. You can make an impact. You can make a difference. You can save somebody's life right now by you just being unapologetically you and you walking in that calling and you speak life and you affirm and you let others this know I see you and I'm with you and I got your back and you're not by yourself and I will hold your hand as you go throughout this journey and even though I'm struggling I don't mind fighting on behalf of you and we're gonna figure this thing out together after being involved in a physically abusive relationship for six years I had to rewrite my script I do understand that a lot of times when you go through things, it feels like it's for you. 
but it really isn't. It's really so that you can help someone else get through that same thing. And you can say to them, listen, I made it through and so can you. I really thought that I would be the last person to do what I'm doing just because of what I've overcome, what I thought about myself. I did not like myself. I did not like the way I looked. I did not like the person in the mirror. And so I was the person who was in front of everyone else and everyone thought I was happy. Everyone thought I had it all together, but I was secretly depressed. I was secretly battling with a low self-confidence and I was so broken. And, and how many of you know that when you are broken sometimes, you can attract the exact opposite of what you need? In retrospect, I know why I stayed in an unhealthy relationship for six years. In my mind, I could not do any better. In my mind, there was no way that anyone else would be attracted to me. So I stayed. But eventually, I came to realize that I was not lucky to have him, but he was lucky to have me. I came to realize that I deserved better. You see, setting higher standards might mean that you have to wait a little longer than you anticipated, but getting what you deserve will be worth the wait. Will you commit to making yourself a priority? Yes, there are a lot of people counting on you. Yes, others need you. But guess who else needs you? You need you. Be confident in your ability to overcome any challenge that comes your way. Why? Because your level of confidence is going to determine what you strive for. If you don't have confidence, what you'll do is you'll see something that you want, but you won't go for it because you'll tell yourself, I'm not cut out for this. I'm not good enough for this. I don't speak well enough for this. I'm not credentialed enough or I'm not qualified enough. And what you're doing is holding yourself back. I never thought that I would be speaking. I never thought that I would be Dr. Jessica Houston. I never thought that I would be traveling the world. I never thought that I would be an author. But it took me stepping out of my comfort zone. It took me saying to myself, you will not let your daughter take the same route that you took. That's what helped me the most. What I have discovered is that women are very good at pretending to be okay. Many times we suppress what we're dealing with and we cover it all up. Women are natural nurturers. In fact, we often help and support others even when we are facing a challenging situation ourselves. Unlocking your destiny is going to require that you add yourself to your priority list. You need you. It's time for you to recognize your talents, your gifts, the mark that you want to leave on this earth as you go to places that maybe you've not been before. You see, leaders know the importance of getting uncomfortable. They know that nothing grows in their comfort zone. They, you, are prepared to rise up and be the person that you want to follow. Leaders know how to lead their own ship, their own vessel in the direction that matters to them. Very few people dream of where they're going. And better yet, get other people to follow in their dream. To get the best out of you and the best out of people you lead, it's essential to realize your burning desire, who you want to become, 
what do you want to achieve? And recognizing that every single thing that you do every day, you're writing your future. <laughs>